Morning everybody and welcome to our first assembly of the new half term. We hope that you're keeping well and we're grateful for the ability to continue safely educating you guys as we move forward into the national lockdown. Before I start today, I really would like to let you know about our plans for blended learning. Blended learning. So blended learning is kind of a mix of the two things, learning in school and learning at home. Now, some of you will have been isolating for various reasons because you've been in contact with somebody who is poorly. If that's the case, when you are isolating and you're not sick yourself, or if you're just off ill for a couple of days, you now can expect to see your English and maths in your Google classrooms that the children are learning in your class on that day. If your entire bubble bursts and you, your whole class and your teacher are at home, then you can expect your whole day's learning for the period of the 10 days so you'll, you'll be isolated for 14 days, but the 10 days of education that you will not be in school, you can expect a full curriculum at home again through your Google Classroom. So just be reminded that if you're not in school and it's the reason that you know, you're still well enough to be learning and working from home, that you must be logging on and looking into your Google Classroom. And you need to let us know if it's not possible for you to do that. So if you don't have a device at home or you don't have access to the internet, please ask your parent or your carer to let us know so that we can do something about that. Okay, firstly today, I'd like to introduce two of our house captains who will be sharing with us today about our learning power of the month for November. Hello, I'm house captain of Sycamore and I am your house captain in Oak. And this month's learning power is... Concentration! You can improve your concentration by... And get more house points by... Concentration! By joining and listening, Doing one thing at a time, sitting still and focusing on something, and showing that you care about your learning. Yes, I agree with you. Let's go. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So, when do you find it hard to concentrate? On my work, when friends are chatting and I can't concentrate on my work. Wait, what about you? When you have a refresher after you get out of bed and your blood sugar's are all over the place. And then it's really hard to concentrate because sugar and salt. Mate, what can you do to help your concentration? So, my tips for you guys is to do some brain exercise to help your concentration. Thanks very much, house captains. Hopefully, at our parents' consultation meetings last term, we all focused on which learning powers we want to develop this year. Concentration is such a valuable power to develop. It helps us to study, but also to be creative. It means we can not only have great ideas, but we can follow them through and put them into practice. Now, yesterday, was November the 5th. Does anybody know the significance of that day? I think I can remember a rhyme that says something like, remember, remember, the 5th of November. Do you know why? Yeah, that's right. It was bonfire night. Normally, we might have had big events when people gather together to see huge bonfires and firework displays. Why on earth does that happen? Let me tell you a little story. In 1605, there was a plot to blow up the Houses of Parliament, to assassinate the King, to get rid of him. The plotters were Catholic and the king was Protestant, two different denominations of Christianity. 
the plotters were angry at the unfair way that Catholics were treated and wanted to take serious action. Their explosive plan was discovered and the leader, who was called Guy Fawkes, was captured. Around the city, bonfires of celebration were lit to celebrate the survival of the king and this thereafter became a tradition. Over the years, the event has become less and less attached to its grim history. Now it has very little to do with politics and religion and is mostly about fireworks and bonfires. Now, before I share some poetry with you, let's hear from Mitzi Pecknold. Hang on, she's not there. It looks like the hall is empty. Everybody, today we'll go down in history because we have stolen Mitzi Pecknold's book, including the battle scores. What juicy gossip shall we unveil? Spoiler alert! The results of Hel of the battles last week were Galileo vs Da Vinci which was a close battle where Galileo came on top with 12,740 points. Hawking vs Brunel. Hawking came on top with 25,815 points. Gandhi vs Rosa Parks. A really close battle but Gandhi came on top with 23,120 points. And Mandela vs Malala. But Mandela came on top with 34,963 points. Let's find out what the next two battles are. Spoiler alert! Next week, Da Vinci and Berners-Lee will be at each other's throats. Galileo and Brunel. That's a mix you don't want to get in. Edison versus Hawking. Rosa Parks and Mandela. Mandela, obviously the best class in school. See if Rosa Parks can Lord. beat that. Helen Keller and Malala. Gandhi and Pankhurst for phases are looking for a champion. The rules are, if every player rocks on, the, the class gets an extra 5,000 points. Battles begin on Friday afternoon and finish on Wednesday night. And the only points that are, will count will be between 8am and 8pm. So no sneaking at midnight and scoring an extra a million points for your team. <laughs> So now I'm going to read some poetry with you from a book called Bright Bursts of Colour. I feel lost would like to see that. Can you guess why I chose this book? Bright Bursts of Colour. It reminded me of fireworks. The first poem I'm going to share with you is called, Phyllis is being very noisy isn't he? It's called Mist. It was actually really misty yesterday morning when we got up. It goes like this. I don't know what it is about mist that makes me walk early by the river and wrap myself in its delicate embrace. Ah, uh, but I think I'm lying to myself again. I do know what it is, and it's this. Sometimes, if the light is just right, I can still see your face. poem we chose because it reminded me and made me think about my lovely, our lovely doggy called Phyllis. And this poem is called Dogs 
with human names. Now, I don't know what you think, but I don't think Philos really has a human name, does he? But let's give this one a go. Dogs with human names. Dogs with human names really make me laugh. Graham's licking Granny's foot. Oh, Dave, you need a bath. Dogs with human names make me howl so I can't breathe. Elspeth's had an accident. Oh, goodness, Peter, please. Dogs with human names make me double up and giggle. Stop it, Mr. Stevenson. You needle me when you nibble. Agatha to Andy, Jennifer to James. I think they're great. Let's celebrate dogs with human names. Thank goodness you don't have a human name, Philos. And the last poem I'm going to share with you today is called When the Mask <coughs> Slips. They don't happen often anymore, the mad minutes when the mask slips, but I love it when they do. Kitten again, she skids across the laminate floor in the kitchen, batting mum's handbag straps like they're alive. Charges out the back door, scuds full pelt across the garden, diving at leaves, grass snapping, then stops, dead. Licks her paws, remembers, slips the mask back on. Now then, we're going to year five to see what Gandhi class have been doing. In year five, the children always study and perform a Shakespeare play. Shakespeare, I know. Very, very good. This year, things have to be a little different. Let's see how the rehearsals are going in Gandhi class. Let's look backstage to see all the hard work that goes on into putting on a play. Break a leg, Gandhi class. Hi, come in. We are practicing our rehearsal. Hi, I'm Juliet. I'm the daughter of a rich person called Lord Capulet. Hi, I'm Romeo. And I'm... Hi, I'm Romeo. And I am the son of Lord Montague, the enemy of the Capulets. Hi, we're the narrators. We tell the story. Hi, I play Paris, a rich Capulet. Hi, I'm Freya Lawrence. I'm a kind religious man which helped Romeo and Juliet in the play. Hi, I'm Prince and I um, tell Capula and Montague off for making their um, son and daughter die. Hello, I'm Friar John, the guy who obviously hands out letters. That's my job. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lord Capula. I'm a Julietta's brother. Hi, I'm Juliet's mother. Hey, I'm Romeo's dad. I play. I'm I'm Lord Montague. I, I'm Romeo's dad. Hi, I'm Balthazar and I am Romeo's servant. Hi, I'm Paris's servant. <coughs> Hi, I'm the searcher. I lock Friar John in the plague house. I apprehend Friar Lawrence. Hi, I am the apothecary, the one who sells the poison to Romeo. Sounds like the gift.
us in the dark and scary place. Whistle to me, boy, there goes something approach. Give me those flowers, do as I bid thee go. Because with flowers I bread or bread I strew. The boy gives warning, something doth approach. <gasps> the boy gives warning, something doth approach. Oh. This is that banished... Wait. Okay, you're smiling. You don't like him. He's your enemy. This is that banished haughty Montague. Go on. This is that banished... Haughty Montague. This is that banished haunty Montague that murdered my love cousin. And here has come... And here has come to do some villainous shame to the dead bodies. To, to the dead bodies. Obey and go with me, for thou must die. Do I? Yeah, you say that. Obey and do it. So look at him, point at him. Obey and go with me, for thou must die. Go on. Obey and go with me, that must die. I must indeed. I apprehend. Well done. I apprehend thee for a felon here. I apprehend for thee felon here. Won't thou provoke me? Then have at thee, boy. Then you start to fight, right? Three. Oh, Lord, they fight. I'll go call for help. Everyone back to normal. Then One. have at thee, boy. One, two, three. Freeze. Oh, Lord, they fight. I'll go call for back help. Uh, go on, Paris. Oh, I am slain. In like you've oh, just yeah. been stabbed. Go on. Oh, I am slain. <laughs> 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 The hardest thing about rehearsing is remembering everything. Yeah, so you're just going to say, <gasps> so really you always got to gotta face the audience. So start from Mercutio's Kingsman, off you go. Mercutio's Kingsman? No, no, we can Paris. Paris, set my everlasting rest. Eyes, look at your last arms. Take your last embrace. Hess for my love. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This morning. Um, so you maybe take, I'll tell you what, uh, eyes. Eyes look your last. Maybe do I. Okay. Miss Matthews oh, right, 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 is oh, us instructions hell. to Can help us get better. I'm steeped in blood. What an unkind hour. So really slow it down. Go on. But an unkind hour is guilty for this lamentable chant. Oh, cut to Where is my lord? I do remember where I should be, and here I am. Where is my Romeo? State no question, you will watch his coming. Come, go, good Julia, I dare no longer stay. Go, get thy head, for I will not away. Yeah, to you know, be a good really actor, oh, you have to follow the fashion. directors, oh. like rough, things the directors rough. tell you, and listen very closely uh, so you can are. learn how to do that. Yeah, remember you get the I like the rehearsal because he has fun, fun rehearsing and, and, and it's good stuff for plays. You're gonna kneel down, aren't you? See what a scourge scourge has laid upon your hate. That heaven finds means That heaven finds means to kill your loved ones with joy. Other way round. To kill your joys (laughs) with love. To kill your joys with love. (laughs) Yeah, but remember everyone's gone by then. It's only you two are there by then. So it's great fun to work with these children on doing something a little bit different to our usual maths and English and topic. So uh, being a teacher director is quite a new experience for me, but I'm really enjoying us getting to know the play and really understanding the ins and outs of how the characters are feeling. And I think they're doing a terrific job of making it look really exciting. Watch this space. Next time you'll see us, we'll be doing the full play. 
Wonderful stuff, Gandhi. We cannot wait to see the Year 5 show later in the year. It's really exciting to see, just have a little peek behind the curtain. Finally, for us today then, it's the time for our Stars of the Week. As always, we will be sharing just the names of the stars, but you can find out the reasons that children have been awarded their Stars of the Week in the newsletter. Please take a look at the newsletter and we'll come around to drop off your certificates. And one thing I would say is that I am really, really sorry that I haven't done my Star of the Week lunch recently. That's been for obvious reasons, but bear with me. I'm going to get it sorted out so that I can enjoy my lovely lunch again with you guys and we can talk like we used to. Well done to everyone this week and here are our stars. In Mexia class, it's Arham. In Tenzing, Yusuf A. And in Coleman class, Fatima. Well done to the children in Little Park. In reception, in Jemison class, we have Unai. In MacArthur, Ava. And in Seacole class, Amelia. Well done, the children in reception. Over to year one, in Aldrin class, is Milan. In Attenborough, it's Anya. And in Marco Polo class, Amelia. In year two, in Einstein class, we have Tareen. In Marie Curie, Camille. And in Pasteur class, Ruma. Up now into key stage two. In year three, in Da Vinci class, we have Kayla. In Galileo, Amira. And in Edison class, Adela. In year four, in Berners-Lee is Zarib. In Hawking class, Declan. And in Brunel, Amelia. Up now into upper key stage two, into our leaders phase. We have in year five, in Gandhi class, Dean. In Helen Keller, Yasia, And in Rosa Parks, Sufyan. And then finally, last but not least, in year six, in Mandela, well done, Harith, in Malala, Anastasia, and in Pankhurst class, Rashika. Well done, everybody. Have a super duper weekend and we'll see you all on Monday. Take care.